I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Make sure you're brushing your teeth at least five times a day. I don't care. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, welcome to Paris. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be talking about these braces, adult braces. Um, I'm gonna be going over the price, how much I pay for them, um, the process of them, how long I might have to keep them in, um, feelings, distractions, everything that I could think of, or everything that I had to go through during the process we're going to talk about in today's video. So let's first start by stating the reason that I even got braces in the first place. Now the reason that I got braces is because when I was younger, when I was a kid, all the way until I was maybe I think about 10 years old, I used to suck these two fingers. Now, before I used to suck these two fingers, I didn't have no problem with my teeth. But, eventually, like I said, I started sucking these two fingers. You know how when you were a kid, you sit in there and suck your fingers, playing with the ears. Anyways, I had a bad habit of that, of sucking my two fingers. And, due to me sucking my two fingers, it kind of bucked my teeth out. Which caused it to have all of these small little spaces in my front teeth and caused me to have um a small overbite so as far as i can remember i always hated my teeth i don't say i hated like oh i can't smile i can't do nothing but i was always insecure about it so i always said when i go 40 i'm gonna get braces and i didn't tell for some reason i didn't get braces when I was younger or i don't i don't think i told my mom i wanted braces until like my senior year by that time, she probably would have had to pay too much. So, guess what I had to do? I had to wait till I got grown and afford them myself. So, here we are. But, yeah. That's kind of the backstory on <clears throat> why I got braces. The second thing we're going to talk about is the process before braces. Now, when I talk about the process, before you do anything anything for your braces or let me just tell you something do your research on your dentist do not just go to any any dentist because you think oh braces easy this and that no because these dentists will play with you do your research on your dentist make sure shit if you can talk to other people that went to them which you probably can't but still if you can maybe go to somebody that one of your family members had one too but be careful when picking your dentist i say all of that to say this because um the dentist office that i went to before i needed my braces i needed like I didn't need any extractions, but I needed like, um, I think I want to say four fillings, maybe three on this side, one on this side. <clears throat> I'm not as sure the exact amount, but I know I needed some fillings. Now, the reason why I'm telling you guys to do the research on your dentist because I went to this dentist, um, it had a few, I really didn't do my research. After about two dental offices, I was sad. I was just so thirsty to get my braces, I really didn't even research anymore. So after about two offices, I had set up my plan. I mean, I had set up my um, appointment to go with the one with the best reviews. Now, even like, also, when you check the reviews, make sure you're checking the reviews for what you're going for. For example, if you're going for braces, make sure you check the reviews on the braces. But anyways, long story short, initially went in, I told them what I wanted. I wanted my braces or whatever. He told me, oh, okay, cool. We're going to take care of you. All this, okay, cool. So, 
before I ever went to this dentist. So that's when he told me I need the fillings and everything. Now before I ever went to this dentist, these like my two top teeth over here, I never had a problem with them. I could chew on them, eat hot, cold, no sensitivity, nothing. Now after the fact that I had my fillings done for my braces, cause they say you can't get the braces if you don't have the um you can't get braces basically if you have any cavities or if you need any fillings or all of this so all okay anyways after i got my fillings with the dentist all of a sudden like okay the first two weeks i kind of expected me not to be able to eat or you know go back to normal when all this after i got my fillings it's been over a year, over a year, I still can't eat hot or drink hot or cold things on here before my nerves get to throbbing. I can't, like I used to eat sunflower seeds because I worked at a call center. So you sitting at a desk all day, all you're doing is eating. So I used to just eat sunflower seeds. They went so far up in my nerve on these two tooths that... It's um is it's sensitive now. I call them like hey, it's been a month now, my back. So basically, um I forgot where I was at, but <laughs> with the feelings that the dentist had did on these two, it completely I don't I'm not sure what they did. They went too far up. They hit a nerve. They did something. I called back like, hey, my tooth still hurting. Called back several times. This was before I even got my braces. Oh, just give it another week. It should clear up. It should clear. To the point it had been months. And my teeth to this day is sensitive. I had my braces since March. I'm sorry, either February or March last year. So I had them for a year now. And until this, and I started getting my um, feelings and stuff all the way back in November of 20, November of 2020. November or December, one of those, 2020. And these feelings was st is still hurting to this day. That's why I say, do your research on your dentist. I just seen on one of these blogs that it was a dentist that was going around he got sued or he went to jail or something like that. He basically was going around drilling holes too far up in your teeth just so you could have a root canal to make him some some more money. But the thing is, you playing with these people whole livelihood, and I honestly think that's what happened to me. I don't think that they tried to give me a root canal, and I don't know what they did, but I know for a fact they went too far up. I know they went too far up because they hit a nerve. And it's literally nothing I can do about it. For the rest of my life, I'm going to have sensitivity in this tooth because of them. <sighs> do your research on them, doctors. If you do get some feelings, let them know up front. Do not go too far up. Do not drill too far. I don't care if they, we know, we know what we do. Da, 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 da. No. Tell them, don't go too far up when they're doing that feeling. Because if they mess around and go too far up, you're going to have nerve damage in your mouth for the rest of your life. And there's nothing you could do about it. Like me right now. But every time I think about that, I just get irritated. So I'm off for that subject. Talk about it's the cost. The cost of everything. Now my braces, I believe it came to like... I want to say maybe twenty five hundred. I have insurance with my job. Without the insurance, it was like five thousand, fifty two hundred. Without the insurance, it was about fifty two hundred. With the insurance, it brought it all the way down to it brought it all the way down to about twenty four hundred. But I still had to get all those extractions. With all those extractions. I believe it came to almost $3,000. And then I had to put $1,200 down up front. So, after I put the $1,200 down, that's when they was able to basically start my braces processes. Process. But, um, that is about the average price that I was seeing everywhere else I was looking at, even online, before I got my braces. So, 
I think that's pretty fair. If you know something different, let me know in the comments. But I think that's pretty fair. The next thing that we're going to be talking about is like the first day of getting braces, um, the initial pain, all of that good stuff. Now for me, my first day, I'm going to try to insert a clip if I could find a picture of my first day getting braces. But for me, um, it was painless. It was painless. I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel them putting it on. Um, it was painless. It didn't hurt. It didn't hurt when they got done. It didn't hurt the next day. They basically just glued the little metal things on your teeth, put the wires through. Now, I did think the wires was going to hurt because I kept hearing everybody say, oh, when the wires get on, that's, that, that means they're tightening up and all of that. But for me, that didn't, that didn't matter. I mean... They didn't hurt. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is going to get your braces tightened. Now, going to get your braces tightened, it never hurts me either. Now, I'm lying. I'm lying. Like the last two times, actually the last three times I got my braces tightened, they kind of hurt because the only reason it hurt is because my top row they put the um the power chain that's what happened they put the power chain on um my top teeth it's not on the bottom yet but they put the power chain on my top teeth and every time for some reason every time they take the power chain off and put it back on that junk hurt so, other than that, let me see. But the pain tolerance since I had braces, it has not been bad. Like, of course, you have to watch certain things you eat because this is also, well, that's, I'm going to that a little later. But, yeah, as far as the pain, me personally, and I have a very low pain tolerance. It's not pain. It, nothing has been painful yet. The power chain's a little painful, but the bearable is nothing that you can't handle. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the time I have to keep my braces on. Now, the answer to that is, drum roll please, I don't know. My dentist don't know. Don't nobody know. The assist, I'm like, how long do I have to keep these braces on? Oh, we're just going to play, um, play it by ear. Or we're just going to keep going. Or how long do I have to keep these braces on? It's already been a year, which I'm not complaining. Like, take y'all time, do what y'all got to do. Even though I'm ready to get them off, I'm not complaining because I want my teeth to be as perfect as ever. Like, I want perfect teeth, so... It's just, I want to know how long I'm going to have to keep them on. It's not the fact that I'm rushing y'all to take them off. But, um, also, keep in mind the length of your braces. That's what I was going to say earlier. Watch what you eat. Um, because another thing is certain foods will break a bracket. Every single time you break a bracket and it's not on your teeth, that's an extra day you have to add on to your braces. Oh, okay, you break a bracket on Monday now on the 1st. On Monday at first, now your the next dinner because dentist appointments are hard to get into. Now because the next dentist appointment isn't available until the 13th, you're going to, or the 14th, you're going two whole weeks without one of the wires in. That's two whole weeks you have to add on to the end of your process. So be very careful. So the foods I would say maybe avoid definitely a steak. Even though I be eating me up some steak. My dentist, the lady that I'm working with right now, she's pretty cool. So if I do happen to break a bracket, she's able to get get me in there um in maybe like three days. But it has not, like I said, it has not always been like that. When I first got my braces, those appointments, oh, you have to wait damn near a month to get in. Baby, that's my next appointment. So, yeah, just be careful what you eat. No, don't eat anything too hard. Um, try to stay away from, like, maybe pork chops, um, 
barbecue gum you definitely can't chew gum your dentist gonna even tell you that um hard foods like apples maybe yeah definitely apples i can't think of everything off top but y'all get the picture just like be careful what you're eating because you do not want to prolong this process it's already a long a draining process already so be careful now the next thing we're gonna be talking about is that your hygiene with braces okay so your hygiene is very important you're gonna hear this from me you're gonna hear this from your dentist you're gonna hear this from the dental assistant you're gonna hear this from everyone you're gonna hear this from your teeth if you don't brush your teeth dentist's office the first thing that they gave me once they put my braces and everything on was this electrical toothbrush now with the electrical toothbrush you're supposed to just sit it on your tooth for about 20 i don't know how many seconds i just kind of go with the flow brush my teeth for about two to three minutes but you're supposed to sit it on your tooth you're not supposed to brush or anything just sit it on there and it's going to clean all of the um dirt platter uh, plaque or whatever that's on your teeth off and make sure and i'm gonna say this i'm gonna say this make sure you're brushing your teeth at least five times a day i don't care that's maybe pushing it five times a day every single time you're done eating every single time now let me tell you why you want to brush your teeth every single time you're done eating because if you don't your gums are gonna swell up it's some type of gum disease but your gums should not be puffy while you have braces now if your gums swell up too much then your dentist is going to have to take the wires off of your braces for about two weeks maybe even a month depending on if they have that appointment available for you to get back into the dental office but always just keep on making sure you're keeping those gums down because again if you don't they have they're going to have to take it off and that's going to be another two weeks one month or however long that you have to keep your braces on and i also heard that when they take the wire this hasn't happened to me yet well hopefully it's not going to happen at all because i brush my teeth but anyways um when they take the wires off i also heard, heard that your um your teeth get the spreading back apart so now when they put it back on it's 10 times more painful because these two weeks or a month that your teeth was spreading apart you have to pull them back together now they probably put the power chains everything now your your teeth gonna be throbbed okay i'm not sure where i left off at but i think i was talking about um the gums like the swelling of the gums but yeah be real careful another thing that has helped me out so much is this water pick this it's a water flosser and get this if you don't get anything get this before you get your braces this is going to help you out a lot now i did try to use like the regular flosser or whatever but it took entirely too long and it's just too hard to just go between all these brackets and everything but that water pick baby now i did hear some people say after a while they can't use it like when it's late in the game like when they had their braces on so long because it hurt their gums but me personally i done had a man over a year and it has not hurt me now this is the prescription mouthwash because my gums did get swole and my dentist was like hold on now you're gonna have to get this swelling down so he gave me um some prescription mouthwash it's gonna come in this like container and I'm supposed to use this twice a day for about three weeks straight. And it should bring my swelling down. But um, since then, I haven't had any problems or anything as far as the swelling. But yeah, just make sure you're brushing, brushing, brushing. Every time you eat, brush. Every time you drink, brush. Every time you sneeze, brush. Just brush your teeth just brush <laughs> but um that's all i can think of let me think is there anything else i could think of let me see 
all right you guys so that will be the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i wish everyone the best on their new braces journey and i'm out